In America, we only have a few loves of our lifetime that really matter. It's easy to be dating a lot. It's easy to be kissing a lot. It's easy to be running around a lot. It's easy to be playing a lot. It's easy to be doing a lot of things that don't end up with staying a lot. But I guess what I'm saying is that in our lifetime, we usually only have a handful of loves that the Lord allows us. We might have other loves that God did not guide us to, but at the same time, we were not guided by the Lord. When you're guided by the Lord to the newest love of your life, that's something else. And openly, the signs are usually off charts. In my lifetime, I have been led by the Lord to predominantly four women. And openly, I can count my college gal amongst those women. That she was a godsend, she was a best friend, she was everything at that time for openly four years of mine. And after that, then I made my move to do other things in business and get into my groove of being a young professional. And eventually, that opportunity led me abroad to Japan, in which I found the best friend a man can. I found a wife for 20 plus years, and how those years progressed is nobody's business. What happened in the last year is only in a book of mine, and openly you shouldn't have one because I've only sold a handful of them. And openly I never placed the book online for a reason that it wasn't finished. It wasn't clear to the Lord that it was ready to be there, but some bastard of Satan stole my work and put it online in the last month or two, actually in July, without my consent. Pretty sure it was a kid from a staple shop pretending to be me, trying to benefit from my work. And maybe he edited it, but I didn't authorize him to do that. But the work was built on two women. One, a soulmate who came into my life on prayer, the other on a twin flame who also came into my life on prayer, but recently, in the last year, I made a new prayer. And with that, God gave me a name. And that might be the last of the lives of loves that I have. But what I can say to the one that 10,000 signs have shown like the sun, that she's a foolish girl missing out on the love of her lifetime. And openly the foolery is trying to play with everybody else involved when all she had to play with was me alone. And then maybe her sons. But openly other people have come and gone who might have been lovely, who might have been pretty, who might have been okay, but they're not the one that God chose for me that day. In life and in our lives, we have loves. And those loves and their soul strings so, so, so deep in our souls that anyone trying to interfere with those lifelines from God are really looking at how to pay.